the principles of capital budgeting for domestic companies are equally applicable to the capital budgeting decisions by a foreign corporation let's see how it works there are two approaches uh, in this regard the one is called as the home currency approach and the other is called as the foreign currency approach uh, in home currency approach there are two steps the first refers to the conversion of the foreign currency denominated cash flows into the home currency denominated cash flows this is the first step the second is to use home currency's discount rate to discount the uh, converted cash flows in order to compute the net present value of the project the second approach is the foreign currency approach uh, it has little more steps the first is to determine the required return on foreign currency denominated investment in the second step we need to discount cash flows on this investment to find npv in the foreign currency denomination as at the third step we need to convert the foreign currency denominated npv into home currency denominated npv and finally we need to convert foreign market required rate of return uh, to the home country's required rate of return to understand the mechanics of these two approaches we have an example uh, we assume that there is a us company that owns a project in france the project cost at it, its launch is 2 million euro and annual expected cash flows over the three years life of the project are 0.9 million per uh, euro per year the current spot exchange rate for euro is equal to 0.5 euro uh, so the euro is worth equal to two dollars risk free rate for us is five percent and in france is it is seven percent the company's weighted average cost of capital of such type of dollar investment is equal to 10 percent now the question is that should the company take this investment in home currency approach we need to work in uh, two steps as i have earlier said first we need to determine uh, an expected uh, ex uh, pro expected exchange rate on this particular project and for that purpose we has an equation that equation has an uh, output of 0.5 which is the spot exchange rate and we need to multiply this with the differential of the uh, risk free rates the one is we have 7% second we have 5% so this is the expected uh, exchange rate now using this expected exchange rate we uh, need to determine the uh, year by year expected exchange rate in order to do that we need to compound the ex already computed exchange rate for every year for first year for second year and for third year and in this way we will have the all three years expected foreign exchange rates once we have done this we need to multiply these yearly expected exchange rates with the yearly cash inflows and outflows and that we have in our last part in and its fourth column we can see where we have a dollar converted cash flows equivalent to four million dollars uh, 1.76 for year 1 1.73 million for year 2 and 1.7 million dollars for year 3 and with com uh, with having these computed annual cash flows we need to determine the net present value but for that purpose we need to uh, discount the computed annual cash flow and for that purpose we have already a discount rate of 10 percent and using this uh, step we compute the net present value equal to 0.3 million us dollars as this value is a positive value so we can conclude 
that the project appears to be profitable being having the positive net present value now in second approach where we can use the foreign currency approach we will go for a, a detailed procedure in first step we need to convert 10% of our required return on dollar denominated cash flows to a rate that is suitable for the euro denominated cash flows for that purpose we need to first uh, determine the difference due to the international fisher effect and that difference is between the uh, two risk free rates of us and france the difference is equal to 2% now we will add this difference to our required rate of return in order to uh, compensate for the uh, great greater euro inflation rate as the inflation is higher in in france now we need to compute net present value of cash uh, euro denominated cash flows at this uh, 12% discount rate and uh, the net present value is equal to 0.16 million euros in the next step we need to convert this euro denominated net present value into two days present value at the exchange rate of 0.5 and this gives us the net uh, dollar denominated net present value of 0.3 million and we see that we have the same dollar denominated net present value as we have uh, computed in our earlier first approach uh, there is a issue that is on the remittances by a uh, foreign operations of a multinational to its parent company in the ho uh, home country now cash flows from a foreign project can heavily or substantially differ from the amounts to be remitted to the home country uh, in the home country to the parent company uh, there are certain forms of these remittances that includes uh, dividends management fee for central services offered by the head office in the home country royalties for using brand names or trade names or other patents a uh, firms should consider potential control of foreign governments on the remittances in certain countries there may be restriction on the foreign companies on remittances on profit earning in those particular companies this means there may be some part of funds that cannot be transferred by a foreign operations entity to its parent in the home country and these funds are then called as blocked funds